Hey guys, it's Nicole, and I'm going to share with you um, a little bit about my December Studio Calico kit. So as I told you guys uh, earlier this month, I was not a huge fan of the November kit and therefore didn't buy any add-ons and only made just a few things with it. But what I decided to do is um, the December kit, I got the original kit and then I bought an add-on. I'm not sure which one it is. It was the one that didn't come with a stamp. Um, and so what I did was I took the remnants from the kit from December and added it and to what I already had and um, made layouts with that and I've been having a blast. I knew I loved these kits and I have non-stop been using them so I was just going to share with you a little bit about what damage I've done with it thus far. I just got it on the 8th and what's today the 13th. So in five days I've made seven layouts and I want to show you what damage I did with it and kind of share those layouts with you today. Okay, so for starters, um, paper-wise, here is my little paper container, and I have pretty much shredded apart um, almost every paper. I think that these are the only three that I have not used anything of, and that's two pieces of cardstock, a craft and a blue, and then this washi paper. I'm not really sure um, what I'm going to use it on because I'm not really scrapbooking with like a bright yellow like this. But everything else I've ripped into. So, um, and that's two kits of paper plus what was left over from last paper. So you can just see that it's all scraps. So I've been having a really good time um, using this kit. It just, for some reason, when something inspires me, like I can't stop, I just keep using it. So as for letters, um, these letters were from last month's kit, and I used quite a lot of them, as you can see. Um, I've also used from the add-on kit quite a few of these black jelly bean soup letters here. I've also used from the add-on that I got um, on two different titles quite a few of these and they're the ones you missed and that was another goal I wanted to try to use some of my mists because I haven't been using them lately. And then also from last month's kit I've used quite a few of these you can see some letters missing and then I've also used quite a few of these and I absolutely love these. So those are the alphas. The only al alphas, the only alphas I did not use are these right here because I haven't really made anything with craft yet. So that is that and then as for um, the embellishments you can see I have torn these up. <laughs> There's like barely anything left. I've used them on so many layouts. I didn't use any of the numbers. And then this is the second page. I used one of the dates and day of the week and all these pieces. So I love these. And these were part of the reason I got that kit because I own nothing of this collection and I love to get a kit that has a ton of stuff I don't own. Um, I didn't use any of these numbers. I haven't really been using numbers because I'm not doing anything in layouts that require a number. Um, I also use some of these borders, so I've used a great deal. I've used quite a few of these little pebbles things, and these were from like two kits ago, and I pulled them back out, so I'm almost done with those. Um, I haven't used this washi again. It's craft, and I haven't really used craft. I was actually able to use um, a different badge. I use some of this. You'll see it in a layout. I use both of these stamps, um, parts of them. A ton of the arrows, one of the little pockets. I haven't used this yet. And then from this little container, um, I've used quite a few of these. I love these um, fabric brads. I've used a couple of these. I used the she said card, but not the he said. Um, and I got a new punch. I never shared it. Um, it's called a doily something punch from, no, I think it's called an embroidery circle from Martha Stewart. It was 40 off, and I love it. I used it on one of the layouts. Um, I used one of these. None of these. I don't think I used any of these chipboard ones. And I've used quite a few of the feathers. So... That is that, and now let me show you what I've made. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my camera up 
to see a layout and then I will go in detail about it. Let me see what I can stand it on. Here, I can kind of use this thing maybe. Here, maybe I'll stand this up here. Put the layout on it and then I'll go over it and what I did. Okay, ready? So here's the first one. And these are all 8.5 by 11. Um, Sherry had bought me an 8.5 by 11 album for Reagan, so I'm still working on filling it. But that's the first one, and now I'll kind of go over it in greater detail. Um, what I did was I basically just covered a white piece of cardstock with various pieces of paper, and then I stitched them all together, as you can see here. And I put her photo up here, and, and all of these photos were 4 by 6s but I cut them down to whatever size I wanted. And then I just added all of these arrows and sewed them on haphazardly. Then I sprayed different colors of my Mr. Um, Mr. Huey's. This is Cameo. This is, let me see, hold on, I'll tell you. That is Buttercup, I believe. No, no, it's Taxi, Water Cooler, and Pinstripe. And then I stamped my Hello Sunshine stamp on this tag, added a few brads there, and then I just stapled this piece of ribbon on. So that, oh, and then there's some silver washi up here. So that's that one. Then the next one is right here. And it looks like this. Okay, so this one um, is a photo of me and a coworker that when we were on a marketing trip in Naples, we went on an airboat ride. So that's us very winded from the airboat. Um, but I used this craft paper, and I just felt like these stickers would blend on there, so I didn't use them. Um, let's see, up here, that's from my stash. This is just a rub-on from Studio Calico, and this are these are those Studio Calico mistables, and they're from an old kit, so I've really been trying to re-bring out my kit stuff. This is from the new kit, and I used that there for part of my title. Um... All these stars are misted. I think they're overdue. Um, sunshine and pinstripe. And then there's some My Mind's Eye Washi. Um, this is the place. It's called Cory Billy's Airboat Rides. This is a sticker from one of those American Craft sticker um, packs. This is from an old collection, um, or old Studio Calico kit, I'm sorry. This is from that sticker sheet from the Soho Gardens, and then here are some of those blings. So that's that one. Then there's this one. Hold on. And this one came out like this. So cute. So this one, I used some of the POW glitter paper. I first did a lot of layering and curling of the paper. Um, these are all papers from the collection, or the kit. And then these are stickers from the kit. And I just, I used a lot of dimensional adhesive and stuff here to make it very layery. I used some vellum paper and um, punched some vellum butterflies that I stapled on. And then also punched some glitter gold hearts. And then just layered, I, li I like this because it says I like you and naps, and that's where again laying down trying to take a nap. And then it just says I love you more here. And I just made some little banners, kept it really simple, did a lot of layering, some feathers peeking out. Yeah, and then this little butterfly here is on dimensionals. So cute. So there's that one. Then there's this one. I really like this one. Even though it's so simple, I'm like in love with it. And it looks like this. So I used my little, um, where is it? Do I have it out here for you? To see? Yeah. I used this Studio Calico Circle Graph. Um, and I sprayed some, um, I believe this is you it's a cameo 
and hold on one second some cameo spray and I just sprayed it up here and down at the bottom and then I used some uh, Memento London Fog ink to stamp these arrows and then some uh, washi from my stash with the clouds and this is called my happy place and then I punched and put on some pop dots here um, two little hearts and then from one of the pieces of paper in the collection, I just cut out these tags and I just stapled them on. I didn't even glue them. There's a few more down here. And I did the same with these arrows. And a little bit more washi down there. And then I stamped a bunch of these heart arrows just pointing to her. And then I did my journaling with my typewriter um, right there. So I really like that one. Then back in September, we had um, photos taken for the fall of Reagan, and I wanted to document at least one of them in her album. So that's this right here. And it looks like that. And so all I did was I used some of the papers from the collection and just kind of made this kind of patchwork pattern. Um, and then I took some lawn trimmings from Lawn Fawn and wrapped it around and stapled it and tied a bow. And then this is from the Farmhouse Collection um, from October Afternoon. This is a label that I had and I just put the date that we took those photos. These are Recollections little flowers. And this is a Studio Calico wood frame. Then I used these American Craft stickers right here called Bliss. I've used quite a lot of these because they're a very unique color that I like. And um, it says Picture Perfect Day, and this is a sticker from that Soho Gardens collection. So is this. And then I try to use a lot of um, wood veneers to sort of accent. Hold on one second, my little... There we go. And I put two little rosettes down here, a little camera... Here's that new punch I got from Martha Stewart. And then these are fa fabric brads that I had in my stash from Crate Paper. Two different collections. I think one's Emma's Shop and one's Portrait Collection, I believe. And then just the two little wooden um, feathers. So, and that's her photo. She's so cute. So that's that one. Two more to go, guys. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this and you have like a cup of coffee or something. Um, so, then there's this one. And I really like the way that this one turned out too. And this is a photo of my father when he was a toddler. So I wanted to put it in Regan's album because they both have curly hair and they look like. Um, so, and if you notice here, you'll see that there is holes but no... Um, thread and that's because this is when my uh, Janome So Mini decided to break and I have no idea why I've never had a problem with that sewing machine um, so of course I can't live without my sewing machine I couldn't fix it my husband took it all apart and tried to fix it so it does have a warranty and I can return it but I couldn't wait for them to do the whole process because they say it takes a few weeks to return it so I ordered one off of Amazon in the interim that's coming soon and then I'm gonna just return the other one so anyways um, I cut some of this um, Dear Lizzie paper in this kind of V pattern and then I just did a ton of layering um, I never thought I was gonna get to use this button because I don't have little boys only little girls but I thought this was perfect for this photo of my dad um, and then these are heyday banners this is just a doily from my collection this tag came with it um, with the kit and I just put my journaling on there it just tucks in um, over here is just a bunch of layering this is from heyday this is from Neapolitan these buttons that you see peeking out over here are all from the Studio Calico kit. Um, this big background piece is from Dear Lizzie. What else? This clip. Um, this is from the Soho Gardens collection. And then down here, I sprayed these with powder blue, pinstripe, and what is this green? This green is clover. And it just says Little Grampy because that's what she calls my 
dad so I absolutely love that one I love how dimensional it is if you look like it's so dimensional it's got so many layers so that turned out really cute and then the last one in this layout um, the last one took me oh probably I would say like 15 minutes there's really not much to it but I like the way it turned out um, and it looks like this so that's that and I'll go over it with you and then that'll be all for this video okay so I just used a white piece of avalanche cardstock up here this is some of that wash not washi tape vellum tape um, then I cut just some scraps of the paper and stapled them on I didn't even glue them I used that true story stamp and stamped it three times while only dipping it in the ink once this little heart is from Joann's, I forget what, collection. Um, oh, Cloud Nine. And then these are just some enamel dots. I sprinkled Overdue, Sunshine, Pinstripe, and Clover right here. Um, these are all little tags from, or labels from, the Soho Gardens collection and it just says fun happy times using those pebbles things I just stapled those on here's a little piece of ribbon um, I really wanted to use this paper and have the heart right above her head I just did a ton of layering of just stickers and brads and stamping I just did it really quick and then she's in like one of those little things where you put your face here <laughs> she kept trying to lick the pumpkin so it says um, she said why does this pumpkin taste like cardboard and then here's another little vellum arrow. So that is that one, and that's sort of what I've been up to. Um, I might make a couple more layouts using this, um, what I have left, and then I'll probably be burnt out on it and back to cards. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.